Oh no! What happened? Another one? This is the fourth time, huh? How was the date? Not good, I'm guessing, huh? Four times two is eight, eight times two is 16. That's a lot of date that you've been going in and well, kind of you're just the only person there. I think that's a signal. It's sad, but these are pretty, pretty nice though. You have good taste, buddy. That I can tell you. But I have something to help you, you know, kind of just to help you out, attract that person that probably will reciprocate what you're looking for and what you're bringing into the table because you're bringing a lot of love over here and nothing's being returned. Here, I'll show you something. Look at it. These are the things that might help you attract that person. The right one. The one that vibes with your frequency. You have here a very wonderful rose quartz. This vibes to the part of unconditional love and kindness and also friendship. You have agate, citrine, and amethyst. Amethyst promotes inner peace and healing, which you need in order for you to express your love. And of course, you have wonderful, amazing, clear quartz over here that promotes harmony in the relationship. What do you think? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, take it. It's pretty good. Now, that's yours. I'm going out tonight and I have a date. So I'm keeping this, okay? Good luck with your date. And you don't need to wish me luck because I have that with me a long time already, okay? <laughs> Bye, buddy. Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel and this is going to be for the Taurus Rising. Now the Taurus Rising, um, we're going to see where the, uh, where, where the moon is happening, the full moon on February 2019. If you are watching this here in Cosmetology, make sure you watch the first part that happened at Atreid Love, Inc. Okay, so for the, um, for the Taurus uh, Rising over here or Taurus Moon, this would apply. This would happen, the full moon will happen in the third house, which is your Mercury rule. This is your siblings. This is also about communication. So what's going to happen with your siblings? You might have an energy where there are things that your siblings has been not telling you the truth at all. You know, this is about communication. They're not being straightforward. If they're not lying, they're wishy-washy. Okay. Always remember, okay, with, with especially if it's Ashlesha and Rahu is there, it's like a snake movement. So they want to kind of like, it's like, okay, like you're bothering me, but they're not going to tell you. They're going to be like, mm, not sure, mm, not sure. This can also reflect in your work. Okay, this are, can reflect also in your action. You're going to be wishy-washy. It's like, I don't know what to do. I really don't know if I should go here, if I should do go there. Because it's happening in, um, in your third house. Mercury is action. These are our choices in life. And the third house reflects, okay, cause, uh, for a Taurus, uh, Taurus moon or Taurus ascendant, it reflects here in technology also. You probably will send out wrong emails, wrong text messages, wrong screenshots that you have you were trying to send to your best friend because your you know your guy wasn't communicating towards you, but you sent it to your guy. So be careful with technology this day. Don't touch no phone, don't touch no email. Meaning it's just like do what you're supposed to do, but do not exhaust technology this particular um, February 19th. And also moving five more days because that's where it's happening remember rahu is an illusion you're probably gonna see someone liking a pic okay it's like you like a pic on that person you know for the people who are in a relationship why did you like that pic and then only for you to find out that it's like wait it wasn't really like there was no nothing it's an illusion rahu is there so be careful
Okay, the moon also is an illusion. All right, so thank you very much, Taurus, for watching. This is just going to be one of those uh, short clips for this channel, and sooner or later we'll have more. Thank you.